Yo, what's up? In today's video, we covered the Big Top event. It's a very interesting challenge, but you know, something we got, got it done in this channel. Uh, sit back and enjoy. So the first event you gotta do in this challenge is play against three mascots, which were Piri, Rapper, and Hopper. So what, what happened to us is that we got double dunks. Um, with it, you know, just get some dunks. But the secret of getting these dunks was to set screens and to get open lanes. They're not as quick as us and we could just get through them real quick. As you can see in the video up, up above, you can see them just getting through, through Raptor. Watch, watch again. Yeah, one of them we had, a, we did old school. Kind of sucked, took longer. And to be honest, it wasn't that much fun. Um, with the mascots, honestly, the best one out of here was probably Raptor. Probably gave us the most trouble. But guarding them wasn't much of an issue as long as you know you set that middle screen. When you set that middle screen, it really opens up a lot of lanes for you. Uh, you see another here, open lane, run through, dunk. As that was mostly the, the secret of completing this challenge, just setting those uh, key screens and just running through. As long as you could do that, you would you're. Pretty so now that this event is almost done, you can see Gay Dade completing a layup. And this was our last play. You know, got the simple layup, call it, called it. This was probably the easiest one out of the three. Um, as we can see, at this point I needed just needed about two, three more. Wasn't that challenging. But um, cages was definitely more of a struggle. In cages, we ended up facing Champ, Rocky, and Boomer. Uh, for this one, we went small ball. If I, uh, we actually went up with a shooting guard, small forward, and a center. As you can see uh, up in the video. Uh, just a secret for this one, we just kind of ran a two-man. Uh, and we use the same strategy as before. As we can see, that's Champ from the Dallas Mavericks, Rocky from Denver, and then Boomer from the Indiana Pacers. Uh, this was definitely more struggle than uh, struggling than the last video. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, uh, these are some highlights that we did. But uh, yeah, basically what we did is had someone run the ball. And when we had that, someone set a screen and then everyone move out of the way. That way there was also an open lane for the, sc for the screen. Um, look, that's another one. We screen pass. Uh, we didn't do that one much comment, but we always had someone in the corner. So the, uh, there was no double teams and there was more of an uh, e Yeah, I mean, I'm not a cages expert and I don't claim to be one. I rarely use that, that game mode. Uh, for me precise but I mean it was a cool little challenge uh, another secret is make sure to have someone at the post just trying to block everything yeah they definitely were better than than Perry Raptor and Hopper but yeah but yeah at the end of the day uh, that's that's how we got it done running screens and just getting those those easy dunks and from time to time they would double team you and just kick it out to the open man yeah so that's our score i only get that many points just because my ball control kind of like someone more of a spot up shooter and a defender so yeah at, at this point uh this was our i had the two you no know, i had a, the first one and this one done at this point but but yeah let's talk about the last one the last one was the arcade game where you came up to this uh, game that you see like a Chuck E. Cheese or your your local Dave and & Buster's and you just shot and this one definitely tested your patience but but the key with these is 
you gotta go into the zombie mode where where even if you miss one you're you're not focused into that shot you're focused into the overall just like it's a it's a marathon and not a sprint but yeah just having that true second release keep timing it keep timing it and you'll get it and from time to time it will get frustrating uh, when that happens you know just put the PS4 down and go get a drink go get a walk and just keep at it but yeah I saw if you could get level 7 and level 6 down I think uh, as soon as you hit level 8 you had a really good shot of making it and this this was a pretty good game for me I, I green most of them and if you can get a, a good streak on the slightly late and slightly early to go in, you'll also have a really, really good chance. Yeah, you see here, I just got to level seven. Uh, not green as much. Don't know why this is the issue, but yeah, this tends to happen. But just, this is where it could get a little frustrating. Just remember to just try to keep the same timing, same timing, same timing, same timing. And just to continue, continue, continue. It's a, it's a rough four to five minutes, but I, yeah, I would say it was a three or four to five minutes. It's, it's challenging. This one I had a pretty good streak. See, I'm level eight, comfortable. Twenty seconds left. Only need five more shots. So yeah, I just keep at it. Um, to be honest, the whole event took me like three hours to complete. I, it took a little longer than I thought, but. You know, two three games would go by quickly, but you know the time really adds up when you're doing all these videos. Yeah, this is yeah me finishing the last uh, little yeah in the, in the moment that we all wanted. But like, the congratulations, we defeated all the mascots. It was definitely a, a very happy moment for me. And obviously, because I'm not high ranked, I went with a backpack. I I was considering getting the blue and the red sleeve, but. The blue, the black pack, and the sleeve had to, had to be done. So yeah, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll be we'll be waiting for you for the next video. Have a good one.